Hi guys, and welcome to another recording for YouTube. Now this one comes about as a result of some feedback that I received recently. So what is my channel about? Well, I'm a psychic, a medium, and I'm uh, a thoughts therapist. So they are various different techniques to help you towards self-empowerment and um, improving your life by working in a way that benefits you using your thoughts and your what makes you tick. So over these next few weeks, I will be producing various videos to sort of establish um, for you guys out there watching what it is that I actually do at the heart of all of my work is um your well-being your upliftment no part of me is interested in ego or being proven right or being a star or anything like that i just en enjoy having this means and having this connection with you guys and just sharing some of my thoughts but everybody's got roles everybody's got um labels so on this uh, particular production we're going to talk briefly about what happens when you have a reading with me. So readings on um, this means are £35 for 35 to 40 minutes. Now, what do you get for that money? What do you get when you hand over your, your money? Well, you get somebody there who is a good support who is somebody to lean on while we uh, have that interaction. What I'm interested in is what you think and what makes you tick. In regards to the reading itself, it is split into two ways. Part psychic, which is the tools that you're using, the, the cards, the energy and the vibration around yourself. And part mediumship, which for me, what that represents is tuning in to an outside agency and delivering pretty much verbatim what they bring in. What do I guarantee? Well, as I say, honesty, bluntness, directness and empathy. What don't I guarantee? Well, I don't guarantee that there will be any connection with any particular spirit. My experience tells me that over these last few um, years that what happens is is that i can sit there and say there will be no spirit connection and then spirit will come in there and will bring something through that i need to pass on a message what i always look at and this is how i structure my readings is that the client comes first and then when spirit come in and bring any of their messages they're like the star guest that comes in i play a very small part in that connection between the two of you so if you just imagine spirit myself as the link and you guys that are receiving the message how do i do that well i use oracle cards angel cards and tarot cards so for that 30 to 40 minute um reading space time if you like you will get three oracle cards and the, the oracle cards are normally quite colour specific, which then for me relates to the energy chakras within in the body. And then you can also um, identify maybe that's where there's energy blockages. And then we can openly discuss that and deal with that. And then we can hopefully project you forward in some way or another, or maybe bring some closure in. Then we go on to the um, tarot cards. The tarot cards are... As so they sat there in front of me, very bright, very colourful. Now, tarot has been around for many, many years, and there are various different variations and decks that bring out. How I connect to them personally is I see myself as a storyteller, that the, um, the cards themselves are like keys to locks. You put the keys in the locks, you'll open the door, and then you will see what's behind, behind the door. Sometimes people are fed back that it's a little bit too random and a little bit generalised, but I always feel that if you actually do the research and sit there with the energy that's being presented to me in, in your own inner being, that you will find out where you're being guided to. Essentially, it's like 
um, being given the keys to the door, but you've got to then decide whether you want to walk through it or not. So we walk, we walk through the story, which is six to nine months. And the thing that I want to stress about doing these readings is you are not fated to do anything. Free will of choice must, must, must override anything that is put to you. So if you decide after a consultation or a reading with any reader, including myself, that that doesn't suit your purposes, then go with what your gut tells you. Never be sort of feel like you're bullied or obligated into to doing anything. Your free will of choice must override anything that's brought into you. I for make it so that I only work with um, light, truth and upliftment. Anything else I'm not interested in bringing through. And I will use my guides and my inspirers to remove any anything that affects my energy while I'm working. So as we come towards the end of the reading, what then happens is we pull a, another card there from uh, Doreen Virtue's Angel Cards. And what I've tend to find over the last six years that I've been doing these readings is that um, it will bring about um, connection, potentially high 90 percent of the time with what we've already spoken about or what you might have had an idea in your head that that is a topic that you wanted to discuss or open up to i keep it simple stupid because that's me i like to keep things very honest and very, and very straightforward so i'm always open to working with people um as you can see this is my room where i do readings so we can do readings on the internet um through Streamyard and through facebook messenger and and various other other forms if you're in the uk you can uh, or around lincoln area you can come to my house i'm willing to travel and do readings for house parties and things like that on request and i th thought that that was a um an, an overlay that will give you a small insight into what i actually do the reason for doing this, right, okay, was, as I said, was feedback from somebody that um, I hold a lot of stock with, that he said to pass on what it is that you're actually giving. Because essentially, a reader, a person that's an energy worker, is selling you feelings. In exchange for some of your life's hours, I believe that what everybody else is looking for is upliftment, is um, better feelings. So when people are coming to me for questions, I like to think that I am a conduit for bringing those better feelings. So what do you get from me? Well, you get the you get you're safe in the knowledge that I have got your best interest at heart. I will never, ever, ever. And I can honestly say that hand on heart, let you leave my area where you've got any darkness or any negativity or anything around you like that, um, because. I'm a human being at the end of the day um, and I'm very protective of people that uh, come into my energy space. So um, if there's any questions from anybody about the, how I work or how other people tend to work, what I would say is before you part with any money for a reader is do your research. Have a look at their reviews. Have a look what that person um, is actually capable of. What do the, the people that have had any dealings with them? What's your own intuition? What's your own gut feeling about going to somebody? Because you will encounter, if you put out for an opinion um, to, to the wider public, there will be people out there that will mock all of this. Right. I don't worry about any of that. They can mock all of the like. All I can go with is the history that I've encountered in the six years that I've been doing this as work. And um, I can say to you truthfully that I am not interested in whether I'm right or wrong. What I actually care about is the, the client. So I'm always looking to promote upliftment and self-empowerment. So as I finish this presentation, and I hope that you enjoyed it, I'm still working on and tweaking little things about how I present, uh, how I present myself and the work that I do. I'm open to questions or anything like that when you guys, if you want to engage with me. And my little catchphrase, it's building up because I want to bring in that self-empowerment. So remember, keep shining. Don't sweat the small stuff. 
and thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again at some point in the future. Many, many thanks and bright blessings out to you. Thank you.